Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a late slide rest in KTRV5. The whole series I'll be showing you how you can design the different parts of the late slide rest and finally I'm going to assemble all of the parts together to form this particular late slide rest assembly what you can see on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen you can see the different drawings of the different parts of the late slide rest. Totally there are 11 parts and these are the 11 parts which are involved in the design and this one is the assemble drawing and with the help of this drawing you're going to assemble all the parts together and finally form the late slide assembly or you can see on the right side now let me just come into the part which we are going to design in this particular part of the series so this is the clamp plate and this is what the part we're going to design in this particular part of our tutorial series. So to do that let me open the start mechanical design part design and name the product file late slide rest space hyphen space part number 9 space clamp plate is the part name click on OK and you get the new file with the name on it now, what you're going to do now is come into the drawing. In here, select the XY plane, give sketch, and create a centered rectangle. Now dimension the center of rectangle here. So that's uh, 36 plus 36, 72, with a width of 32. And it has got a thickness of uh, a 10. Right? Now, select this face over here click on the sketch and then you got a solid object over here now now what you got to do is you got to remove this particular portion what you can see here so to do that what you can do is you can insert new body and in that body you define an work object and select this face over here Give sketch and give a diameter circle of 20 diameter of 20 come out of the sketch and do not a padding make sure you're doing a pocket of uh, how much four over here okay now hide this and select this face here give sketch I've hidden the part body now and create another circle here make sure you're not doing the pocket even if you do the pocket when you're in the other body it is gonna come as bad because it is in another body 26 degrees, 26 diameter, come out of the sketch and do a padding, not a padding, a pocket, reverse direction of 6. Right? Now just unhide this and select this body here and go to assemble. So we got that uh, particular par uh, material being removed. Alright, now we need to drill two holes over here. Select the face, click on the hole. Now, <coughs> we have two holes of diameter 10. CSK holes, 90 degree, diameter 18. So diameter 10, this is uh, up to next. Now go to type, count uh, sunk. Now select angle and diameter. 
angle 90 degrees and diameter 18 so we got the hole over there but we haven't positioned the sketch now we can position the sketch by the dimensioning tool of uh, this is 36 this is 24 36 minus 24 is 2 1 14 so just give 14 and this one is of 16 come out of the sketch and we got the hole over there positioned uh, I guess no it's not 14 I'm really sorry it's 12 okay now select this face again over here and give hole this time just position the sketch must be the same because it's symmetric so just give a 12 and 16 here of the sketch and make sure you're having 90 and 18 here and then up to next click on OK and we got the the next hole being drilled over there so that completes the design of our uh, the ninth part that is a clamp plate and keep watching to see the two more other part the design of two more other parts and finally we'll assemble all of the parts together and form the late slide wrist assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts regarding this particular tutorial please comment below on the video and I'll be getting in touch with you. If you have any CAD projects please feel free to write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com I'll repeat that ctia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you. Thank you so much for watching guys and stay tuned.